the U.S. men's national basketball team has been one of the most exciting stories of the 2024 Olympic Games. Led by superstars LeBron James, Steph Curry, and Kevin Durant, the United States men's team has been dominating throughout the qualifying and throughout the pool play. After their win today over Puerto Rico, Team USA is a, is a perfect 3-0. and Not only are they 3-0, and but they have been rolling. They have the most points and the best point differential of the entire Olympic Games. The question now is not will they win gold, but how much will they win gold by? And is this the best U.S. men's national basketball team of all time? So far, throughout these Olympics, they crushed South Sudan. They just crushed Puerto Rico. We've seen bench players, guys like Bam Adebayo and Anthony Edwards, absolutely popping off. Today, it was Anthony Edwards who led the team with 24 points. Against South Sudan, it was Bam Adebayo who won, uh, who led the team by 18 points. So we're seeing the bench get involved. We're seeing the starters get involved. We're seeing the rotation get completely changed around. Kevin Durant did not even play during the qualifying. And so far throughout the Olympics, he's pro- he's been maybe the best all-around player on the court. Jason Tatum didn't even play the first game. He came out, started the second game, and was excellent. It's not just the men on the team that have made this team so good. It's also the coaching staff. They are led by an all-star coaching staff. Steve Kerr, head coach, with Ty Lue, as your assistant coach, as well as Mark Few, the legendary coach from Gonzaga. But that is an all-star coaching staff right there. Looking at the box score from Team USA against South Sudan, you'll see that Bam Adebayo dominated with 18 points, 7 rebounds, 1 assists in just 21 minutes. Kevin Durant in 22 minutes, 3 assists, 2 rebounds, and 14 points. Anthony Edwards played well, as did LeBron James, Derek White, and Devin Booker all going into the double digits. Even the bench guys did well. Devin Booker with 10 points in 22 minutes. Anthony Davis, 8 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists. And Drew Holiday and Jason Tatum also. Jason Tatum with only 4 points, but 5 rebounds, 2 assists in 17 minutes. It was an all-around great showing, even with Steph Curry barely playing. Of course, that was against a South Sudan team that didn't include pretty much anyone of note. Looking at the box score against Puerto Rico, it was more of the same for the United States, who were up against a team with just one NBA player, Jose Alvarado. For the United States, Anthony Edwards led the team with 26 points despite only playing in 17 minutes. Joel Embiid scoring 15 points. Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Jason Tatum all reaching double digits, with Jason Tatum pulling off a double-double with 10 points, 10 rebounds, and 3 assists, while leading the team with his 23 minutes played. Yeah, he is a star. The plus-minus, you know, you can't see it, but LeBron James with an 18 plus-minus, as did Steph Curry, and of course they did. They are stars. Bam out of Bayou, 3 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, and even without Tyrese Halliburton, this team, it didn't matter. They beat Puerto Rico by 21. Team USA women have been dominating just as much. Against Belgium, Brianna Stewart led the way with 26 points, while AJ Wilson dropped 23 of her own. Diana Taurusi, the veteran, only managing 14 minutes and didn't score a single point, but she did contribute in other ways, with including a turnover and a couple of... Yeah, well, she didn't actually have that great of a game, to be honest. Um, off the bench, Brittany Griner dropping 7 points, Alicia Thomas... 8 points, and Sabrina Ionescu with 6 points, while Jewel Lloyd scored 8. Shout out Jewel Lloyd from Seattle. Love to see it. The full basketball standings are as follows. The USA leading Group C with a 3-0 record, while Serbia sits at 2-1. In Group B, Germany is on top at 3-0, with France at 2-1. And And in Group A, Canada sits on top at 3-0, while everyone else, Austria, Australia, Greece, and Spain, all won one game with scoring 4 points. In women's basketball, Team USA is 2-0, tied with Germany atop Group C. They'll face off soon. France leading Group B at 2-0, with Spain on top of Group A at 3-0. Meanwhile, in the 3-on-3 men's basketball, Team USA is on the outside looking in of the semifinals with a score with a record of 2-4. They'll need to win their next two games if they want to get in. 
Women's basketball for Team USA at 4-3 and three has qualified for the semifinals and will have a shot at a medal. They currently sit at 4-3, and three, and we're going to talk more about 3-on-3 three three basketball in the next video, so stay tuned for that. But we're more so talking just about the men's and women's 5-on-5 five five teams. It's been no surprise to me how dominant the men's and women's teams have been. Of course they should be dominant, when it's a literal team of NBA and WNBA superstars making up your roster. Most other countries are lucky to even have two or three NBA players on their national squad. Luka Doncic, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Nikola Jokic, Victor Wembanyama, they're all great players, but they all play for different countries. An international team of all of those guys might stand a really good chance against Team USA. In fact, if there was a USA versus the world competition, the USA would really have to fight for it. But in the Olympics, Team USA has the biggest pool of talent to pull from. Of course, they're going to dominate. And of course, they're going to win. We'll be following Team USA men's and women's basketball as they continue. Both of them currently qualifying for the semifinals, assuming the women's team will beat Germany, which I believe they play later today. We'll have updates for you as it happens. This is Coast to Coast Sports. Like and subscribe for more videos just like this.